Our top story this hour in a bid to mark the 65th anniversary of diplomatic ties between China and Sri Lanka. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi is in Sri Lanka on a two-day visit with the aim to promote diplomacy with Sri Lanka. Wang Yi met the top leadership of the country in the latest. The Chinese Foreign Minister met Sri Lanka Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa. The two leaders spoke on a host of issues that includes tourism, investment, COVID-19 relief and preparedness. The discussions also centered around the logistics for facilitating the return of medical students to China. Taking to Twitter, Sri Lankan Prime Minister said, I'm quoting here, I thank China and the people for the continued support to Lanka. Uh, and he further said, quoting yet again, as both our nations celebrate 65 years of bilateral relations, I am hopeful that this relationship we share will only grow and be strengthened in the years to come. Meanwhile, Sri Lankan President Gautabaya Rajapaksa further announced the opening of Port City Marina Promenade along with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi and Sri Lankan Prime Minister. In the Rajapaksa, the Port City Promenade is a 500-meter public walking path that has now been declared open to mark the 65th diplomatic anniversary between China and Sri Lanka. Wang Yi's visit also marks the 70th anniversary of the historic rubber and rice pact between the two countries. The rubber and rice pact was a trade agreement between Lanka and Beijing, under which Colombo supplied rubber to Beijing in exchange for rice, which further led to expansion of trade between the two countries. The current visit comes at a time when relations between the two countries are strained, and the bone of contention here is the issue of contaminated organic fertilizers that was provided to Sri Lanka by a Chinese company. And Wang Yi's visit is being seen as a step towards easing tensions, which simmered over months. Meanwhile, the Chinese Foreign Minister's two-day trip is also being gauged as an opportunity to help Sri Lanka at a time when the country is battling crippling financial crisis. He is further expected to present a number of investment proposals as well to assist at the island nation's looming economic catastrophe. And for more on this, our correspondent, the Sunni Atorda, has sent us this report from Colombo. Let's listen in. The Chinese Foreign Minister's visit to Sri Lanka, which is a two-day official tour, has not only sparked interest here in Sri Lanka, but also of those that show an interest to this country who are currently across the world. Now, this is because relationships between China and Sri Lanka have soured over the past few months, spearheaded by a contaminated consignment of Chinese fertilizer that ultimately resulted in Sri Lanka paying 6.9 million US dollars to the Chinese company with the hope of receiving a fresh batch of uncontaminated fertilizer. That's not all. The Chinese foreign minister is also expected to visit the Colombo port city, one of China's main investment projects here in Sri Lanka, among other projects that also China has shown interest to. Sri Lanka is currently facing one of its worst economical crises in its history and will look to the likes of China to drag itself out from this tough situation. Reporting for We On World is one from Colombo, I'm Dasunia Powder. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.